on the way to the ring, representing Team Point Blue, from Hollywood, California, weighing 244 pounds, Goldust.
Here we have the second of our six-man tag matches for the night. This is Gold Dust, Wade Barrett, and Eddie Guerrero versus Sandman, Tensai, and Edge. Now the winner of the second match will go on to Super Bowl to face the winner of the first six-man tag match on SmackDown. Now that match is Scott Hall, Raven, Mark Henry, versus John Laurinaitis, Big Show, and Kazarian. And we get a nice tag team maneuver here from Eddie Guerrero and Goldust to get Eddie Guerrero into the ring against Sandman. Sandman, a great classic member of the ECW roster fighting here tonight on Raw. Eddie Guerrero has fought many times on Raw himself, but is a classic wrestler from WCW. And that is the wrestler he is representing here tonight. Goldust representing ECW. And Wade Barrett representing SmackDown on his team, respectively. Edge representing SmackDown as well, as Tensai is a very new member of the roster. As we get Eddie Guerrero picking up Sandman. Now, Sandman getting countered by Eddie Guerrero multiple times. As we get a reverse neck breaker. As we get Eddie Guerrero now grabbing at the back of Sandman with a nice suplex to the side. Nice kick to Eddie Guerrero as Eddie Guerrero now whips Sandman across the ring into the turnbuckle. Sandman and his teammate Tommy Dreamer have had not, not had much luck on ECW. They've lost many matches and they will in fact be facing Goldust and Phantom later this week. His Phantom and Goldust have not had much luck either in the ECW brand. Well, that'll actually be the first match tomorrow night. So we have Phantom who faced off earlier tonight in the other six-man tag match, his team, along with Mr. McMahon and Val Venus, faced off against Godfather, Sheamus, and CM Punk as we have a series of kicks to the back of Sandman. Now, the winner of this match will go on to Super Bowl, but if they win the match at Super Bowl, the three men in this match will be entered in to a 20-man Royal Rumble as Wade Barrett and Goldust celebrate in the corner as Eddie Guerrero whips Sandman hard against that ring. Sandman has two tag team partners, but neither of them has entered the ring yet. One, two, as we get almost had a three count there. One, two, three. No, Eddie Guerrero able to kick out from Sandman. Sandman actually countered that roll of pin and now able to get Tensai into this matchup. And Tensai gets smacked right back onto the outside of the ring by Eddie Guerrero. Sandman blocking Eddie Guerrero from getting outside of the ring, protecting his teammate here as Eddie Guerrero went for an interesting move that didn't quite fully connect. He landed onto the top rope and spilled into the ring, but he did contact with Tensai, who spilled out of the outside of the ring. Wade Barrett now on the outside here, trying to help Eddie Guerrero here. Goldust making his way over as well. Sandman pushing Eddie Guerrero away. Wade Barrett grabbing Sandman, whipping him into the ring as Tensai and Eddie Guerrero fight here. The two legal men in this matchup as Tensai whips Eddie Guerrero against that barricade. 
So going to a six count as both men roll into the ring now. Eddie Guerrero grabbing the arm of Tensai, formerly the man known as Albert. He took the moniker Tensai when he went over to Japan and became a great superstar over there in all Japan pro wrestling. He had a very long streak of being undefeated in the WWE before getting a series of losses. As we get Tensai now kicking at the back of Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero now grabbing at the back of Tensai and going for a nice suplex to Tensai, slamming him in the middle of this ring. Eddie Guerrero grabbing at Tensai, but getting countered into a nice slam by Tensai, using a lot of that weight. Tensai is a very agile man, but not quite as agile as Eddie Guerrero, one of the greatest Mexican wrestlers of all time. He's a multi-generation wrestler. His cousin Chavo Guerrero has been a great showing. As Tensai grabs that crossbody into a great follow-away slam, slamming Eddie Guerrero across this ring. Now putting Eddie Guerrero on his other side and going for some mission maneuver here. Stretching the arms of Eddie Guerrero and the neck, wrenching the neck back and the back. Now Eddie Guerrero able to get out of that with a kick. Now going to whip Tensai across the ring into his own corner. Going to look who's going to tag with. He's actually tagging with Goldust here. Whipping Goldust across the ring as Eddie goes for a dropped hold. And Goldust with that elbow to the back of Tensai. Tensai grabs the leg and goes for a nice slam once again, countering that kick by Goldust. Goldust getting kicked to the gut now. And now Tensai grabbing Goldust and whipping him into the enemy corner. Perhaps it'll be Edge's turn to be in this matchup. Now Sandman working with Tensai now. As we whip Goldust across this ring and go for a nice elbow, double back elbow to Goldust's chest. Him now grabbing the head and whipping Goldust into the enemy corner. The Sandman, the intimidating look, actually scared Edge away. Edge dropped off the apron as a huge clothesline by Tensai goes to the head of Goldust. And now a big headbutt to the back of the head of Goldust, and Goldust goes to the mat. Tensai stalking his prey as Goldust now whips Tensai into his, his own corner. Tensai getting put onto the top rope. His tag partners not helping him as Tensai goes all the way to the top rope for their huge axe handle. But Goldust able to counter, able to bet that back backbreaker onto Tensai. And now kicks to the gut to Tensai. They get a headlock onto Tensai from Goldust. Goldust now grabs Tensai and sends him across the ring. So we get an aided crossbody from Goldust and Eddie Guerrero to Tensai. As we get a tie in now between Eddie Guerrero and Tensai. Tensai whipping Eddie Guerrero around but able to get countered and suplex. A nice release suplex by Eddie Guerrero as he picks up Tensai and whips him into his own corner now. Tensai able to counter out of that corner and get out of that tag team predicament. And a very nice kick from Albert to the face of Eddie Guerrero. Now he has Eddie Guerrero on the ground. And now Hurricane Rana sending Albert halfway across this ring with a huge amount of momentum. And Eddie Guerrero now going to whip Tensai into his own corner once again. Now Tensai picking up Eddie Guerrero, putting him in the corner. The series of headbutts, putting him down in that corner. And now picking up Eddie Guerrero and slamming him against that mat. Tensai wrestling in the classic brand of Raw's War. As we saw many Raw's War wrestlers earlier on in the night in our first six-man tag matchup. As we see Eddie Guerrero get up and now punch Tensai. Goldust and Wade Barrett have been confusing each other. They're trying to get back on the top rope, but they're not getting out of each other's way quite easily. And now Tensai is able to go to town on Eddie Guerrero. Wade Barrett finally getting up to the apron as we get a hurricane runner from Eddie Guerrero to Tensai, sending Tensai closer to his corner. Eddie Guerrero running towards his tag partner, Wade Barrett, the Barrett Barrage, now in the ring against Tensai. Tensai 
getting an elbow to the face from Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett grabbing at the head of Tensai. Looking for another big move here. Series of counters, position changes. And now Tensai going for a nice arm drag down to the mat, wrenching that arm back of Wade Barrett. Weaken that momentum, he can get behind that Barrett barrage. Now elbow to the back of the head. Series of punches. As we get Tensai to whip Wade Barrett. That has not worked out for him so far as he gets a kick to the gut and a nice clothesline from Wade Barrett. And now Wade Barrett for a camel clutch onto the big man Tensai. Tensai pulling him towards himself towards the ropes. His tag partners have not yet helped him in this match for quite some time as he runs over to his tag partner. And now gets Edge in this match. Edge, the first time in this match, the Rated R Superstar, many time World Heavyweight Champion, WWE Champion, able to whip Barrett into the enemy corner. Barrett, Intercontinental Champion, formerly, as he gets double flapjack by Sandman and, and Edge here. And now Wade Barrett getting whipped into the corner once again, but able to counter this time, putting Sandman into his corner. And going to slide out to the outside now, where he gets grabbed by Edge and whipped right back into the ring. That is not the side of the ring where you have the advantage. That is where you have a disadvantage. As Wade Barrett takes his aggression out on the on the referee as he does a big bulldog to the referee. And we get a standing suplex from Wade Barrett now bringing Sandman in the middle of the ring. One, only one count. Wade Barrett has to put more damage onto Sandman. Sandman is one tough son of a bitch. As you saw him earlier, smash that soda can against his face at the beginning of every matchup. As we get a headbutt to the kidneys. That has got to absolutely hurt and devastate Wade Barrett. As Wade Barrett gets now whipped into the enemy corner. Tensai and Sandman now going to do a tag team maneuver. They whip Wade Barrett across in a double... First elbow to the chest of Wade Barrett as Tensai uses that immense strength of that large man to whip Wade Barrett outside of the ring. And now Tensai whipping Wade Barrett into the barricade where all three men can have his way with him as he whips Wade Barrett into the steel pole. And now Edge grabbing at Wade Barrett and whipping him into the ring. Once again, Tensai is the legal man for the right side team here. And once again, the winner of this match will go on to Super Brawl to face the team that wins the first match on SmackDown, the first six-man tag match. And then the winners of the six six-man tag matches on Raw, on Super Brawl, will be entered into a 20-man Royal Rumble with Sabu and Taz for the Fuck the World title. Now Taz and Sabu are the only two men who have ever held the Fuck the World title, and that's why they get a buy into the initial Royal Rumble for that match. As Sandman gets whipped against the table, and Wade Barrett gets whipped against the barricade, he is still in no man's land. He is still fighting against the three members of this enemy team as he gets whipped around this ring. And the referee is on a four count. After one more count, normally they will try and get themselves into the ring here as Tensai whoops himself, gets himself into the ring and now rolls back out. As Tensai is now wandering into bad territory where Goldust and Eddie Guerrero can help out Wade Barrett, but they seem not to be as in sync as his team is. As Tensai trips Wade Barrett over those steel steps and Eddie Guerrero now actually grabbing Tensai and sending him into the ring. Tensai in the ring now. Wade Barrett is going to want to get into that ring soon. Edge all the way across the other side of the ring attacking Eddie Guerrero here as Tensai now going for Eddie Guerrero as well but as we get Tensai and Edge both get sent into the ring Edge has got to get out of that ring quite quickly before that five count other referee disqualifies their team as we get a nice suplex as we get Edge actually bloody Eddie Guerrero on the outside here as all mayhem has broken loose in this match but we do still have the two legal men in the middle of this ring along with the busted open Eddie Guerrero as now Tensai gets swept onto the outside by Wade Barrett Ed, Eddie Guerrero and Sandman are there to help their respective tag partners Wade Barrett actually putting Tensai up onto the table and getting 
Pensa up on that table, stand up. He's got him into the fireman's carry, slamming him straight down to that table. Tensai must be absolutely devastated as all six men are fighting on the outside here now. As Wade Bear tries to put Tensai back into the ring, Tensai runs into his own tag team partner, Sandman, trying to get himself back in the ring. Wade Bear going back into the ring, Tensai and rolling back out. Zeddy Guerrero now grabs the back of Tensai and whips him back into the ring. Poor Wade Bear to try and finish this match. That huge move by Wade Bear sending Tensai through that table is going to want to keep Tensai as the man legal man in this match so he can finish this match against Tensai and not the fisherman Sandman or Edge as we get a nice side suplex from from Wade Barrett to Tensai and stretching the leg of Tensai as the pace of this match slows down a little bit as all six men now go onto their apens and into the middle of the ring as Tensai is now busted open some of that is not pain some of that is not a tattoo. That is actually blood on the face of Tensai as the left-hand team tries to decide who gets into the ring with Edge here. Radar Superstar has not had much time in this match so far, but he has fought on the outside quite a bit, bloodying Eddie Guerrero and actually Wade Barrett making a punch to the face of Eddie Guerrero as Goldust trying to grab Edge, Edge countering, hitting the back of Goldust, and now sending Goldust over those steel steps Edge is fighting 3v1 here, and now he's grabbing Goldust, and he's whipping Goldust against that barricade. And now Edge going into the middle of this ring. A huge one-legged flapjack from Edge, using all the momentum of Barrett against him as he grabs Barrett's head, but Barrett able to counter into a leg sweep, sending Edge against the mat. Now Edge has so much energy left in him. Will he be able to turn that into a win for this match? Is a very interesting maneuver, double arm takedown by Wade Barrett and Edge now whipping Wade Barrett strongly over that top rope once again to no man's land as it were for his side as Sandman quickly goes over to try and perhaps help his tag partner Edge. Eddie Guerrero dropping down. Eddie Guerrero was busted open by Edge while neither of them were the legal men. Edge just came unprovoked and fought Eddie Guerrero and pulled him off that apron as we get Edge dragging Wade Barrett into the middle of the ring, picking him up now. As Wade Barrett now whips Edge on the outside apron and whips Edge back into the ring, slamming that back of Edge against the mat. Edge has a lot of energy. Wade Barrett is going to have to do a lot to close this match up against Edge. He wants to get Tensai back in this match. Tensai is the man he put through that table earlier. Edge countering out of that corner and now grabbing at Wade Barrett put him in that fireman's carry into a giant flapjack putting Wade Barrett's face into that mat and now Wade Barrett whipping him into his enemy into the enemy corner it's not the corner you quite want to whip your enemy into he wants to whip him into his own team's corner like he is here and now Edge whipping Wade Barrett over the top rope and sliding onto the outside once again going to perhaps fight 3v1 once again but Wade Barrett able to get a quick punch to the face of Edge and put him against that barricade. And now Goldust whipping Edge into the middle of that ring now. That big boot to the head from Goldust to Edge. As we see a series of punches attempted by Wade Barrett. But a huge DDT from Edge to put Wade Barrett knocked out on the mat. As you see Sandman blocking the way but Wade Barrett only getting one count. Tensai missing that tackle and was sent flying over the top rope to the concrete. As we get a huge suplex from Wade Barrett, landing that back of Edge against the mat. As we see Edge now, series of knees to the face from Barrett. And now going to go for a big kick here, sending Edge down to the mat below, down to the concrete. As you see Goldust drop down right away and Eddie Guerrero, all three men going to want a piece of Edge. Wanting a piece of the former World Heavyweight Champion. As you see Eddie Guerrero now grabbing Edge and whipping him into the ring. Goldust and Edge. Goldust and Eddie Guerrero standing on the outside. Now Tensai, that man that was put through the table here and busted open. Fights now against Eddie Guerrero, but Tensai now makes his tag again to Edge. Edge the fresher man, 
who actually made Eddie Guerrero bloodied. Now Sandman, who I'm surprised hasn't been bloodied when he entered the matchup, when he smashed that can against his head, as he got a nice European uppercut from Eddie Guerrero, and he goes for a pin now. One, only one count. Sandman able to kick out of that quite quickly, as we get a headlock from Eddie Guerrero to Sandman into a reverse neckbreaker from Eddie Guerrero. As Eddie Guerrero now tags in Goldust, as Goldust was calling for a tag here. The two ECW wrestlers fighting against each other in the middle of this ring. As we have Sandman and Goldust fighting. As Sandman tackles someone all the way out to the outside. S Sandman getting whipped into the enemy corner and getting tag teamed by Eddie Guerrero and Goldust as Eddie Guerrero gets sent from a crossbody across the top rope from Goldust and assisted crossbody to Sandman from Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero putting into a headlock now grabbing the back of Sandman. Sandman getting whipped around by Eddie Guerrero into a nice kick by Eddie Guerrero. Eddie Guerrero now going to the outside going up to a first spring springboard Hurricane Rada to Sandman. And now Eddie Guerrero grabbing the head of Sandman. Sandman sending him into his own tag corner. That is not the tag you want to send him into. As we see here, he gets countered and put into a tag. And now a ta double team by Tensai and Sandman. As they whip Eddie Guerrero across the ring with a double back elbow to Eddie Guerrero. And now Tensai going to look for a tag to edge, I believe. Yes, as Eddie Guerrero stands strong in the middle of this ring. As he gets a kick to the gut for his efforts. As Edge grabs Eddie Guerrero, Eddie Guerrero countering back in a series of counters between these two wrestlers. As we get an armbar from Eddie Guerrero to Edge. And now Eddie Guerrero going to run to his tag corner, tagging in Goldust now. As we get Eddie Guerrero with a leg drag, Edge with a leg drag to Goldust. As we get Edge now picking up Goldust with a reverse neckbreaker. Now lifting up Gold Edge, and now going to bring Edge to the middle of this ring. Goldust looking for a pin now. No, wasn't able to get a one count even, as Eddie Guerrero and Wade Barrett had to get it out of the ring. As we get a scoop slam from Goldust, throwing Edge far across this ring. As we get a camel clutch now, but a rope break, as Edge's hand was on the rope there quite quickly from that camel clutch. As we get an armbar from Goldust pushing away Edge. And a giant, giant bulldog from Goldust to Edge. Sending Edge to the mat. Edge able to grab Goldust now. Goldust countering, grabbing the back of Edge. As we get Russian leg sweep from Goldust sending Edge to the mat. Now what is Goldust going to do? He's going to roll Edge over and go for another camel clutch. Trying to stretch that back of Edge. He's so far away from the ropes. His tag partners are not helping him, but Edge is going to use that immense strength of his to lift up Goldust and slam him against the mat. As we have Goldust with another huge bulldog to Edge. As now, Goldust thinking about what to do. He's running around the referee as he goes and tries to tag in. And now tags in Wade Barrett, another very strong, young competitor. As we get Edge now whipping Wade Barrett into the enemy corner. Wade Barrett countering out of that corner, not looking, for, not wanting to get table teamed here. As we get Edge getting Wade Barrett out of that corner for a huge flapjack, busting open the head of Wade Barrett. You can see the blood coming from the forehead of Wade Barrett there from that giant flapjack from Edge. As we get a series of punches and kicks from Edge to send Wade Barrett to the ground. Edge now running against the ropes for that nice boot to the face. Wade Barrett able to counter that pickup. Punch in the face of Edge as Edge tries to go. And now tags from both sides. And we get the hardcore legend Sandman fighting against Goldust here. Two ECW wrestlers once again now fighting in the middle as Goldust goes for a pin. Now one, only one count. Just a simple clothesline won't make Sandman go down for the count. we got to do a big move to Sandman to get him out. As we get a nice side suplex from Goldust to Sandman as he drags Sandman into the middle of the ring now. He goes for a pin now. One, two, only one count once again. Sandman still has enough energy left in him 
Countering that kick into another suplex. Edge has got to get out of this ring now. Ref was counting for him to get out of the ring as Goldust goes for another pin. One. Only one count once again. Sandman has enough energy left in him. Sandman. Goldust has to do something to knock the energy out of Sandman. And that is something very hard to do. He could be knocked out and still kick out of a pin. As we have Eddie Guerrero now into this ring after that tag team maneuver by Eddie Guerrero and Goldust. Wade Barrett walking around this ring. We have several bloodied men in this matchup like Wade Barrett, like Eddie Guerrero, the legal man. Like Tensai standing on the inside there. As we get it, Eddie Guerrero to put Sandman in a tree of woe here. And now he's going to go for a a series of knees to the back of Sandman. Using all that weight of Sandman from the top rope. As we get Eddie Guerrero going for a cloverleaf. As both Goldust and Wade Barrett try to stop the enemy team from interrupting this tap. Sandman taps. Sandman taps and Eddie Guerrero wins this matchup.